Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So today we are uh, getting ready for a storm that's supposed to be coming in and I'm finishing up a little bit of work uh, left over from my sawmill work so far. I'll show you what I've got here. So I've got a lot of sawdust that I want to get rid of. Now there used to be a, a cement platform here that was badly cracked and broken up uh, that an old chicken coop used to be on top of a building a very low building that I was using for storage for a little while I'll put a clip in there but that and there's the cement I broke up and threw into this low spot here I suspect this may have been dug out at some point in time to add fill here I don't know anyway Cement's gone. So the only thing that I have left on my uh, log bunks right now are the 10 footers that I've moved over here. I've got these over here, a little bit of uh, off cuts, and I've got one 10 footer on my uh, main log bunk here, along with one really, really crappy eight footer. I'm not sure whether I'm going to even be bothered with that one. I may try to turn it into a, a six by six. You can have lots of knots and that type of thing in a six by six and still have really, really good strength from that. I might try that. Have to decide as to whether or not that's a waste of time or not. So I have got the uh, sawmill all bedded down and ready for the storm. We're supposed to be getting lots and lots of rain and possibly a fair bit of snow. But the saw milling has gone really well. I've got uh, my drying tent sorted out a little better again. So I've now got about 300 two by sixes and about a hundred two by fours. I'm a little low on the one by threes, so I've started restocking that. Now, I need lots of those because that is my battens for my board and batten siding. And I've got one by fours that I use for uh, purlins for the roof. And then I've got my one by eights. Now I'm a little low on those too. I'm down to a little over a hundred one by eights and I want to get a couple hundred more of those in here. So I have got lots of work to do. And I've got about a hundred one by sixes now down in the uh, other storage dome. We'll go down and have a quick peek in there. So there's the uh, fresh cut two by sixes. That's part of the uh, 300 I now have in stock. And there is my one by sixes. Now the one by sixes I'm going to be using a lot on the uh, building down at the uh, trail campsite. That's going to be the flooring and possibly the siding for the uh, small building I'm putting up down there. So we're getting ready for that. These will probably still be a bit damp, but for the uh, building that they're going in, it's going to be perfectly usable. And these are all, of course, just going to sit and dry here until next year before they're used. We've got a little more grading to do here. So I'm going to get the tractor back out and uh, continue to flatten this down and get ready to put up the uh, 10 by 10 shed. But I'm not doing that until after this storm has passed.
All right, folks, so that has got everything there ready. We're pretty much ready for this two-day storm that's uh, supposed to be coming. We'll see. But that's all flattened out. Good enough for now. Uh, that gives me a spot where I can put my uh, temporary storage tent or drying tent here. Uh, and as I say, as soon as I am ready down there, I will empty this and move all the lumber and the tent down there so it is on the trail at the campsite ready to be used. But for now, I think we are going to take a uh, quick run on the tractor down to the campsite to see how things are looking down there. There is quite a wind blowing and it kind of feels like something's coming. But I think all of this wind and the sun we've been getting for the last uh, oh, three or four days has probably got things drying up pretty good down there. So let's go down and have a peek and see what it looks like. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying today's video. And if you are enjoying it, I'd really appreciate the like. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any suggestions, thoughts, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to work. Okay, well, things do look nice and dry here at the campsite now. Well, reasonably dry, but it's really coming along. So that is, I think, just about the last tree that I want to pull out. There's a couple more stumps around there. And that is a tree that's growing up from a rotting stump. <laughs> oh, interesting. But yeah, this is looking good. So we still have a bit of water down here. Uh, let's walk down and check the stream and see what's coming through the pipe. Well, there's still actually a fair bit coming through, and I really am kind of surprised at that, but there was many, many thousands of gallons up there uh, in the Colosseum area. All right, so we're just gonna walk along the stream and go up and have a look. Okay. Oh, wow. This is down a lot. Holy mackerel. That's really good. I have drained many thousands of gallons of water out of this area. Oh yeah. That's great. Which means I will be able to uh, start all that much earlier to uh, cleaning things up back here. Anyway, we'll see if we actually get to this point uh, this year. I'm not sure I will because the ideal time for this is uh, into autumn, but that is when I'm bailing hay this year. All right, folks, we have had a good look down here at what things look like right now. So all we have to do is wait for the storm to come through. All right, let's get back to the house and uh, the sawmill camp. And we got just a couple more things to get ready. And then we'll just keep an eye out the windows. Well, the storm is over. Yeah, the, the uh, snow stopped this morning, finally. There is uh, still a fair bit on the ground, but the temperatures are very mild. So I didn't bother doing anything, trying to do snow clean up down the driveway and whatnot would have meant just plowing gravel. So as you can see, it's melting very quickly. We've already got some bare spots. It's mostly out of the trees now. 
but I still really can't do too much out here. It's very wet uh, and snowy down at the trail here, as you can see. And uh, let's go up and have a quick look at the uh, sawmill site. So there's my uh, 10 foot logs there and one over on the other uh, log bunk in that wacky uh, one eight footer there that we'll, we'll have a look at. So this area here was where I was grading. So as soon as this is clear, I'm probably going to start work on putting up the uh, tent here. And as I say, it's temporary. It's going to be up here just long enough for me to uh, get all the 10 footers cut up and uh, put in this tent. Then I'll figure out what lumber I need down at the trail for the trail workshop cabin uh, down there. And that tent will come down and be taken down there. And the wood that I need will get stored into that until I'm ready to build. And that is going to have me in pretty good shape. So I've still got a few more logs over uh, at Arts to pick up, uh, probably another 15 or so. And I believe they're all eight footers. So I'll get them back here and get them sawn up and get all my saw work done before the weather gets hot. Oh yeah, that's great. That's my goal. Okay, so I think I'm going to spend uh, the rest of today cleaning up my mess in the shop. It's a little bit uh, disorganized in there from running back and forth, uh, doing a bunch of stuff. So we'll get that tidied up and we'll get ready for another day. We'll see what tomorrow brings. It looks like it's going to be wet for a little while, but that's okay. I've got my starter out. I'm going to be doing some uh, sourdough and a few jobs in the shop. So that's going to be it for today's video, folks. I hope you found it interesting, or at the very least, a little bit entertaining. And if you did, please don't forget to uh, give it a like and share it around. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. That would really help. We are growing, and it's great to see. So remember to stay safe out there. Be good to each other. And we'll see you out on the trails the next time. Yeah, this isn't bad need of cleaning up. <laughs>